The 2016 Pathfinder Bank SBS Championship battle was a wild one this season, with six drivers finishing within 73 points of eventual track champion Dave Cliff. Among those drivers making a late season push for a podium position was the driver of the double deuce, Mike Bruce. Despite finishing outside of the top 10 on opening night in an unfamiliar race car, Bruce bounced back on May 21st to drive to victory lane in the 22, flying from 11th in the standings to third before Memorial Day weekend. Three more top 10 runs to finish out June, including a fifth on June 18th, kept Bruce in the sixth position in the title chase, only 30 points from the lead. A 16th place run at Independence Weekend threatened to knock Bruce out of a championship position, but finishes a fourth and two consecutive runner-up drives to end July, shot Bruce all the way up to second in the standings, with only two races remaining in the season. A 10th place run on August 6th would keep Bruce from a shot at the championship in the season finale, but yet another runner-up behind Mike Bond on August 20th moved Bruce back to a career-high third place in the championship standings with six top fives and nine top ten runs. Congratulations to the driver of the Bruce Racing number 22, Mike Bruce. With Oswego Speedway celebrating the 25th season of Pathfinder Bank SBS action at the Steel Palace in 2016, it was only fitting to have Mike Bond as a part of the championship conversation coming down the home stretch. Bond won the Speedway 66th season opener in dominating fashion, wheeling the 4 7's number 74, and after a sixth place finish on May 21st, led the series standings over Dave Cliff and Mike Bruce, and looked to be the clear favorite to score championship number five. A ninth place finish in the Tony White Memorial helped Bond hold a slim edge on Cliff through the month of May, but a devastating 19th place run on June 11th and an 8th place effort on June 18th dropped Bond from the top spot all the way back to 7th in an incredibly tight race for the title. From there, Bond had to play catch up, 35 points from the lead. Another DNF on Independence Weekend didn't help Bond's cause, but another dominating W during the King of Wings July 9th reminded the field that Bond was still in touch. Two weeks later, Bond was back at it with victory in the Mr. SBS Championship, clawing his way back to fifth in the standings. With the championship seemingly out of reach, wins were all that mattered to Bond, and he did his best to finish out. Only Jack Patrick could stop him on August 6th, as Bond went on to capture the season finale, as well as the Bud Light SBS Classic in the 74, falling short of Dave Cliff in the title chase by 22 points. Bond won more races than anyone in 2016, with a total of five, racking up five heat race wins and six total top five finishes. Congratulations to the driver of the 4 Sevens Motorsports, number 74, Mike Bond. After finishing so close to the Pathfinder Bank Small Block Super Championship in 2015, Dave Cliff returned in 2016 with car owner Tim Barbeau with one goal in mind, claiming a second career series championship. Cliff started the year in conservative yet quality fashion with finishes of fifth, fourth, and fourth to sit just one point behind 2015 championship rival Mike Bond as the month of May drew to a close. A bond slip on June 11th effectively dropped the 74 from contention, with Anthony Lacerdo emerging as a new title threat, replacing Bond at the top of the championship, with Cliff continuing to ride second after yet another top 10 finish to start June. With four consecutive top 10s to start the season, Cliff charged to a runner-up drive on June 18th behind Jack Patrick, finally surging to the head of the class, 11 points ahead of Lacerdo, a lead he would never again relinquish. One event after his pivotal runner-up finish, Cliff continued the momentum, driving to his only 2016 win, capturing the 35-lap Independence Weekend Special over Russ Brown, further cementing his championship lead, which was now 31, over Patrick. Over the course of the remaining five events of the season, Cliff never finished outside of the top ten, with three consecutive top five efforts, leaving all championship contenders in his wake as the season wrapped up on August 20th. When all was said and done, Cliff defeated 2015 Series champion Bond by 22 points with one feature win and a series leading eight top five finishes and 11 top ten runs to claim the second Series championship for both himself and car owner Barbeau. Congratulations to the driver of the Barbeau Racing number 50, Dave Cliff.